Hi YouTube, and this is Jay Train 997 and I'm back this time with my review of the DC Direct Blackest Night Series 3, Larfleeze the Orange Lantern with Glomulus. Of course, I'd say this is arguably the most sought after figure in Wave 3. Of course, um, you can see Ar Larfleeze right here, of course his base in the background. He also comes with his Orange Lantern and Glomulus as you can see over here. So, um, surprising amount of accessories to be a Blackest Night figure. Of course, let's go into the back of the packaging. Up here you have the rest of the characters in the wave. And down here, you his little bit says, The Orange Lantern Corps is the Legion controlled by one. Larfleece is the only living member who has absolute possession of the orange light of insatiable, gr insatiable greed. To hoard the power for himself, any who dare try to take this power for themselves find only death. Their essence transformed into a new Orange Lantern. The slain and slavish glomulus accompanies Larfleece. So... Very nice. Of course, like I said, this is the only living member of the Green, I mean, <laughs> Green, Orange Lantern Corps. Everyone else is just projected from his power. So that being said, I can't wait to have this guy out of the packaging. Let's open him up. And here we have Larflees and Gl um, Glomulus out of packaging. Of course, speaking of the devil, let's get him out of the way first. Of course, you can see here. Oh, he actually has some articulation. Um, Not much. His arms just rotate. Um, Each arm does. So that's nice to see that we got some detail on something so small. Of course, I've um, got some pretty nice detail on them. Of course, you got the orange lantern logo down there. It's a um, translucent plastic. So, not a bad little accessory to come with. So now let's move on to Larflees. Of course, I think I'm saying that right once again. I'm not the master of pronunciation on these names. So, a very, very nice looking figure here. That being said, let's actually get some of the detail in here. Of course, he's got a very nice face sculpt. As you can see all the detail on there. Some nice detailing on his costume. Of course, very nice paint. And um, even surprisingly, while it's not what I'd like it to be, there is some detail on his ring, as you can see there. So, I still think they're falling short with the rings and the detail on the rings, but hey, at least they tried something. So, you can see his lantern stays well in his hand, although the... Lantern still is not much to brag about. Of course, let's pan out. It still has the same issue that um all the lanterns have had so far, which is that the little prong pulls out, which is not a huge deal. It pops right back in, but still, you think DC Direct would take some time to make sure that this doesn't happen, but oh well. Of course, let's let this sit over here beside Glomulus. Let's pull him off the base so we can get onto articulation. So, of course, the base is the standard orange lantern base. Of course, I said there was only one Orange Lantern. Um, currently, there is, but I mean, well, there is supposed to be only one, but they did this whole duplication ring thing, and actually, right now, there is another Orange Lantern, which is Lex Luthor. So that's very nice. Of course, um, his articulation is surprising. You get a full 360 in both arms. Arms go out to about here, which is very nice. <clears throat> the arms also rotate right here. Of course, on both, very nice range of movement. And the shoulders both, I mean the shoulders, the elbows both bend. A very nice pose. You could probably work into some poses like he's cradling the lantern. Although it wouldn't be too easy, but it could be done. So some very nice articulation there. Legs both go out to here. Um, both bend at the knee, although it feels like the knee's a little stiff. So this is the first time I've really been satisfied with the Blackest Night. Um... Figures articulation, well, not even satisfied, I'm impressed. Because when I first heard they were going to do an Agent Orange, I figured that him being such a tall figure with so much, you know, I mean, such long limbs, I figured we'd really get a lack of articulation in him. Surprisingly not, we have gotten some very nice articulation with um, Agent Orange here. Or the Orange Lantern, if you'd like to call him that. So, that being said, I love the Orange Lantern. Um, this is a definite must-own if you're collecting the Blackest Night line. Um, I think that it's a great figure. I think that including Glomulus was a nice little touch. Of course, I think that the Orange Lantern is a superb figure. Great articulation. Great detail. An absolute must-own for the line. This is J-Train997 saying I'll see you soon, YouTube.